Hello, this is Art Gunner from The Punk Effect and MorePower.com. I am here with... David Young from Nintendo America. Hello. Nintendo America. That's right. You are here at Toy Fair 2014 for the first time in God knows how many years. Uh, what is so important that you guys felt the need to come out here for us this year? Well, you know, we've been really focused on, on conferences that, uh, that deal, you know, primarily with video games. We're like GDC and we're at PAX Prime and... and uh, and Comic-Con, some of those things. Mm -hmm. But we felt that it was really important to come out uh, and talk to the, the folks at Toy Fair this year, um, primarily because we, we have you know some great games for kids. This is where a lot of kids' media are. And I think that you know we really wanted to make sure that people uh, got a chance to, to get a good look at Nintendo 2DS. This is, this is the um, latest entry into the Nintendo 3DS family of systems. And it's really a great entry system into the 3DS line. Something we think is great for kids for a number of reasons. First of all, the price point is great, $129.99. Um, and it's really a tough system. So, so it's great for kids. Kind of our message is, hey, moms and dads, get, you know, get your tablets and, and smartphones back from the kids. Um, give them one of these, and you, you can't go wrong. I can see that, especially with $500 like iPads. Oof. Right. Exactly. Good. Yeah, and and you know, just the quality of games that that are available on the 3DS family, Nintendo 2DS, 3DS, are really head and shoulders above uh, you know a lot. Most of the games you're going to download off the uh, off the uh, other systems. As, yes, uh, in regards to the games, especially last year, I know that 2013, uh, while the Wii U may have suffered a little bit in terms of uh, sales for games as well as the hardware, the 3DS excelled exponentially, especially yeah. with the release of Pokemon X and Y. Yeah. So, obviously, the uh, wait, hold on. Now, a lot of people are now hooked because of those games, so now you got to try and hook them with more games. So can you ex can you explain to us, like, uh, especially these three games you're showing off to us uh, today, what you want to try and hook us in even deeper into the two yeah. DS? Well, DS. Nintendo's always believed that you know software sells hardware, and and we saw that uh, play out in a in a big way with the 3DS line. When we started coming out with you know some of the big titles like Mario Kart Seven and and uh, Super Mario 3D Land, you know, the, the, uh, the sales really turned around and took off. Now, what we're showing off is some of our new games we have coming out, Kirby Triple Deluxe, Disney Magical World, and Yoshi's New Island. Just, just some really great games that appeal to, to the younger audience, but also have uh, enough depth and enough, uh, enough content that, uh, that, that they appeal across, you know, to core gamers as well. Okay. Um, I believe that's about all we can... Uh, Okay. We also wanted to ask a little bit about the Wii U. You're yeah. not you're not really showing off too much about that uh, at, here today. Mm -hmm. However, like I said, the Wii U suffered a little bit last year. Do you guys, as you said, software sells hardware? So the question is, do you guys have any plans in regards to like the big games to be coming out? Because uh, especially for the Wii, the original Wii, a lot of people waited for like Twilight Princess. That was like the big game for a lot of people to buy the Wii. Uh, Super, Smash Bros. Super Smash Brothers Brawl, that was the big game for that. While we all already know about uh, Super Smash Brothers Wii U, and everyone's clamoring towards that as for the Wii U as well as for the 3DS, because it's uh, Super, uh, Super Smash Brothers 3DS as well. Um, are there any other big titles you guys are looking uh, to include for the Wii U? Oh, absolutely. You know, there's some great things coming out. Certainly, there's there's some amazing things out for Wii U already. So, so if you're waiting to get in, you know, waiting to get in the game, there's no reason to wait because, you know, Pikmin 3 I've been playing. It's an awesome game. Super Mario 3D World, also an incredible game. Uh, the Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker HD. So there's a lot of stuff out right now. But, but yeah, we have more things on the horizon. One of my favorites that I'm looking forward to, beyond Smash Brothers that you talked mm -hmm. about, which is, which is going to be huge, a big favorite for everyone, is Mario Kart 8. We're going to be seeing that coming up this year. And uh, again, you know, the Mario Kart franchise is, is beloved by so many people, you know, both genders, young and old. Uh, this time you're going to be able to really take it to a new level. You know, you're going to be able to drive upside down and up walls and through different environments. So we're really kicking it out this year. And there's some great things to show on Wii U. 
you know, the, the uh, story is, is still being told on that system, and uh, we're going to have some great things to share with people. Okay. In regards to uh, Mario Kart 8, as you said, I remember, uh, I think it was 6, the one that came out on the Wii? Um, I'm, don't quote me on that. Yeah, it was, just, it was called Mario Kart Wii, but, uh, but it, uh, would have been, it would have been the sixth iteration. Yeah. Okay, there you go. Um, that one actually came with a wheel accessory for for the Wii to be able to use like for the game. Yeah. Did you see anything similar to that included with Mario Kart 8? Well, nothing that, uh, that we're announcing here today, but but uh, the one thing that we did show when we when we unveiled it at uh, E3 was mm -hmm. was there was a possibility to motion control using the uh, the Wii U gamepad. So so that was something that uh, that was in the early version of the game. But as far as uh, accessories and, and different kinds of things, um, you know, nothing new to, to say on that. But it is going to be a great game, and uh, I can't wait to play it. I can't wait to play it online with my relatives in other states. It's just going to be it's just going to be a great time. Mm. I've got one more question. This is more of a on a personal note for me. Sure. Because as 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 you said, software sells hardware. I cannot right tell you that there were two games that made me go out and just like immediately buy a 3DS, and that was Kingdom Hearts 3D as yeah. well as Pokemon X and Y. Great. So, but one of the things that people have been clamoring for in regards to the Wii U and the 3DS is what people wanted for the Game Boy Advanced and the GameCube. They were looking for a way to play our, uh, our mobile games on the home console, especially mm -hmm. considering the Wii U has that uh, that gamepad. Yeah. It seems like the perfect the perfect system to go ahead and do that for. Is there any uh, plans to make uh, to make like an adapter accessory like the Game Boy Advanced uh, Game GameCube Game Boy Advanced? Nothing that, you know. Nothing uh, in, that I've heard of that works for an adapter accessory. Mm. Um, you know what we've learned with our experience with mobile games and with console games is they're really two different animals. You know, a mobile, a good mobile game, the the levels are going to be a little shorter. You're going to have save points more often because you're playing that on the go. Whereas a console game, you you're kind of sitting down, you're focused on your TV screen. It's a longer experience. So just the nature of the games are are, are really designed differently now. Um, Mr. Sakurai did did make some hints about Smash Brothers. The, the two games might have something in common, but but there again, uh, don't have a lot of detail on that yet. We'll have to wait and see. All right. Thank you so much for taking some sure, time here sure. at Toy Fair 2014, and I hope you have a great uh, great convention. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, this is Art Gunner from thepunkfet.com. See you later. <laughs>